Hello my friends, I'm Eric and today we are watching episode 1 of season 4 of Stranger Things. This is a surprise to me. I had no idea this was on the way even. A Discord server that I'm in, there was a guy there who was excited about season uh, 4 beginning uh, yesterday. Today is Saturday when I'm recording this. And yeah, he was really excited. Um, and I was very surprised because I had no idea. Like, I don't remember when season three was. Was it last year or two years ago? Must have been like two years ago at least, right? Or was it longer? I don't even actually know. It feels like it was a long time ago. It feels like I don't remember a whole lot. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Um, let's see. I, I don't have reactions for the previous seasons on my, on my channel. I have seen them. Uh, but let's see. So like, I can't do reactions for seasons one through three, um, cause I've seen them already, you know, and I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm just going to jump in with season four and see, I hope someone enjoys that. Uh, let's see. What do I remember? I don't remember names all that well. I remember Eleven, the girl and Hopper, the, the cop. Uh, and I think uh, Will was the kid who got lost in season one, and his brother is Jonathan, right? And and I think that's basically all the names I remember. Is <laughs> what I do remember is that I really, really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed the vibe of like '80s nostalgia, Stephen King, uh, and uh, yeah, mystery fiction along those lines uh, with uh, I mean season three had everything you know with monsters and government conspiracies and Russian spies and <laughs> all sorts of Cold War uh, shenanigans going on and it was it was great fun I don't know what's in store for season four here uh, but yeah the previous three seasons have been excellent so I don't see why this wouldn't be as well I have queued it up here on Netflix, and apparently there is a like three minute recap first, uh, which I really appreciate because I feel like I need it. <laughs> I need to be reintroduced to this world and these characters because can I even see when when the the previous uh, when the previous season happened? I feel it was a long time ago. Please fill me in on when season three came out. But yeah, let's get to it, shall we? Before we get started, though, I just quickly want to mention the Patreon. On the Patreon, you can get this reaction early and uh, uncut. It's not going to be that early for this one, but I'm planning on having episode two out by Wednesday. And by that point, there should be up to episode four on the Patreon, if all things goes according to plan. This is I'm trying to have a very quick turnaround on this because... I had no idea. <laughs> and I want to get this out as fast as possible. So, yeah, there's also all the other shows and stuff I do on the Patreon. Uh, and it's uncut over there on the Patreon, not that it's down like here on YouTube. So if it interests you, feel free to check it out. Link is in the description down below. With that, however, let's get into season four of Stranger Things. Hey guys, I have to go home. Mike was his name, right? <laughs> oh, young love. I'm Dustin. I'm Robin. Henderson. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> All right, yeah, the mall. So much happened there. Break through a barrier, a doorway between worlds. Yeah, why would you want to peek in through the worlds? Although, I mean, I get it. It was the Cold War and they wanted to. Uh, Find something to uh, have a have an edge, I guess. Oh man! Oh right, Hopper, sacrifice himself. Sometimes that's painful. They'll come back. I know they will. Oh, and she lost her powers at the end as well. Yeah, man, I feel yeah, not the American, Hopper. I feel like there's a lot of things I'm not remembering, <laughs> but we'll, we'll soldier through. I'm wondering if this is a mistake, you know, if I should have 
rewatched seasons one through three before I get into this because there is so much I don't remember. But at the same time, like it wouldn't be good reactions because I've seen it already. Extreme close-ups here. Who is this? <laughs> this person is good at crosswords, apparently. Oh, he even set a timer. I see. So he's setting a timer for the T, but uh, it's also the crossword. <laughs> and then 10 to the bonsai. <laughs> 1979, okay. I don't know what that means, but that was... Oh, right, yeah, he worked at the Hawkins lab. Or am I imagining that? Oh, so this is... Yeah, this is prior. Okay, before Eleven got out, before all of this went to hell. Of course it is, because it, it showed the date was in the 70s, and the Stranger Things takes place in the 80s. I think I'm going to need a lot of help here. <laughs> Ten... I wonder what's going to happen. I mean, we, I think we know what's going to happen to these kids. These kids are all dead, right? Because Eleven was the only one left. Yeah. Door, door number Eleven. A sun. What do you see? The sun. Very good. Very good. <laughs> you going to give him a candy as well? <laughs> Ew. Violence is about to happen. I like what's going on out there. Sure. Best way. I'm wondering if this means that we are going to see like other uh, of these kids uh, that some of them somehow survived. If that's why we're focusing on this or if Brennan is going to be more relevant moving forward. Because I don't remember what happened to him. As if you care that much. If you actually cared, you wouldn't just give them numbers. You'd give them names. It's the Demigorgon, right? That's doing this. What have you done? Uh oh, what eleven. <laughs> How did they even do this? Because she's way older now. The Hellfire Club. That's Marvel, right? Joyce says time is funny like that. We are all time travelers, if you think about it. Yeah, except we're only traveling in one direction along the arrow of time. So she went with uh, Joyce and Will and uh, no, Jonathan. Joyce got an amazing new job. She says she loves the freedom. Yeah, but working in sales is brutal. Jonathan is acting weird also. I think he's just <laughs> Oh, no, I know what he's doing. I am twice as happy now. I have finally adapted. But this can't be right. Because we need to get back in touch, right? We need to have the gang. Like, how is this going to work if we're not going to be in Hawkins? I have made lots of friends. Is this letter just a bunch of lies? I'm ready for spring break. Mostly because I get to see you. Oh, that's how we do it. Get the, the gang back together. Spring break. <laughs> oh, kids, man. They're awful. Why you home no later than nine tonight, okay? Yeah, okay, I'll try. No, no try. Nine or no California. And no sweetie pie. Mike! Less. What about... Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> I'm confused. Remind yeah, I'm confused. When did they become reasonable? Because what about the others? Other people in, in, the, in the gang? And how do we connect to Hawkins? Because Hawkins is where the weird stuff happens. This is where the, like... Where they punch the hole between... Uh, between dimensions. Tried and Dusty is here and stuff. Like, if only... Uh, Copy that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, let's, it's going to be interesting to see how this works. Don't come in, I'm naked! I'm running out of time here. <laughs> nice excuse, my dude. I was fixing his grades. Yikes, Dusty. B minus? 
Come on, you can't you can't go too aggressive. A in Latin. Come on. Ah, oh, that's 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 not believable. I'm not buying that bullshit. This is about Vicky. Absolutely not. You just gotta be yourself. You're literally quoting me to me. You do realize that. Well, maybe you need to listen to yourself. You ever think about that, Smarty Pants? <laughs> yeah. Because we're people are really good at giving advice that we don't You're follow ourselves. <laughs> I asked the wrong girl, and bam, I'm a town pariah. Okay, yeah, I'd buy that, except that Vicky is. Ah, uh, true, because homophobia. Yeah. She returned fast times, paused at 53 minutes, five seconds. Do you know who pauses fast? Times? <laughs> <laughs> People who like the pool scene. I haven't seen that movie, Fast Times at Richmond High, but I know about that scene. <laughs> they've they've named two that I didn't remember the name of, Mike and uh, Dustin. But I don't remember what this guy's name is. And of course, of course. Oh, I see. Think of Billy. Think about our heroic police chief, Jim. Yeah, Bob. Billy. And Hopper. <sighs> what did they die for? For us to lose to some some crap school? No. <laughs> to return home. With our this is in this in such poor taste, my friend. <laughs> this is the championship game, and this is the end of Eddie's campaign. A semester of adventuring has led to this moment, and we need. Oh you. come on! It's not that big of a deal. Has it ever occurred to you that we don't want to be popular? So you want to be stuck with the nerds and freaks for three more years? We are nerds and freaks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's not a bad thing. Nerds and freaks are superior. Nerds rule the world, you know. As a friend, just talk to Eddie. Get him to move Hellfire. Come to my game. Please. Can't be that big of a deal. I mean, then, there, then Mike was going to California. But like... You can finish the campaign after Mike comes back from California. It's not that big of a deal. Carol, can I call you back? A package from Russia? Very curious. Very curious. <laughs> There's gotta be something more to this than just a doll. I have chosen Helen Keller as my hero. It's a pretty nice and safe uh, choice. <laughs> okay, now let's see who has to follow. Them. Oh, is Eleven gonna have Hopper as her hero? For my hero, I chose my dad. We like to watch Miami Vice on Fridays. This is Mr. <laughs> Fibble. Oh, well. Oh, Will. <laughs> oh, you have someone tell the story about how he died to save you. Because Don't trust the smile. Angela, She's let's save questions until the It's fake. That's not what I'm saying at all. But is it <laughs> You're so fake. Oh. Yeah. Max. I'm gonna have to like remind myself what the names are because I'm terrible at names. And her brother was Billy who died. Still don't know still don't remember what this guy's name was. So no more headaches. Nightmares. Yeah, nightmares for sure. <laughs> I know you never want to go to any of my games, but this one is kind of a big deal. A big deal? Lucas, you really care about this? Lucas, yeah. thank you. Someone finally said his name. <laughs> it's, it's like you're not even here anymore. It's, it's like you're a ghost or something. Yeah, she's checked out. Yeah, something must be wrong with me because I broke up with you. No. I've changed. It's that simple. No. Just protecting yourself. She's dealing with something. Or maybe not dealing with something. Maybe she's afraid of dealing with, with her feelings. I'm fine. Probably not fine. Bulimic? Maybe? Yeah. Are you deaf? I said go away! She did go away. It's someone else. Ready to try on the dress again? in the back a little for you. This is spooky. I approve. <laughs> oh boy. Ooh, that was right. <laughs> Just in time. Just in time. 
I like that. So probably bulimic, right? Anorexic or something. The devil has come to America. Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> the devil. Yeah, I remember this. Saying it promotes satanic worship. Ritual sacrifice. Yeah, no. Sodomy. <laughs> Suicide. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this, the satanic panic. You want to postpone the cult of Vecna? I, I don't- Yes, it's not a big deal. Calm down. Run like hell out of here. <laughs> Didn't you say that last year? And the year before that. Yeah, yeah, and I was full of shit. <laughs> oh, so he's repeating, so he's old. It means you boys, the future of Hellfire. Yeah, so if they're the future, then maybe let them have this. Sounds like it came from Russia. Wow, I'm so glad I called you. Yes, but who would, who in Russia would send it? Oh, it's, it's, it's cracked. So Crap. smash it open, there might be something inside. Letter. He doesn't have time to visit the number one most desired girl in Hawkins? That is your past yeah, test, man. it doesn't. In fact, it stinks to high heaven. What? Because like the letter will still be there when he gets back home. Get you some well-deserved hanky-panky. Okay. First of all, yeah. Dad, I'm going to try to forget that you said anything. I like this conversation going back and forth like this. No matter the pressure, no matter the personal cost. So you don't feel like you don't deserve each other or something? Everything I don't know. between us is perfect. Oh, and you're afraid to screw that up. Can you fight with dice? Yes. But these aren't your normal dice. No, they have more sides to them. <laughs> I hate high school. Mm. Oh, don't worry about it. It'll be over before you know it, and then life starts for real. So screw it. Screw high school. Help me, Higgs! Where are oh. you talking about? Gonna recruit someone in middle school, huh? Was she the one? Because she was the cheerleader that the basketball team dude was uh, talking to in the auditorium. But was she the one in the bathroom as well? I don't remember. She must be, right? Because... Because why else would we follow her now, if it wasn't her previously? Is something horrible going to happen to you, I wonder? See, that's not natural. <laughs> it's cracking, and it's moving fast, and then spiders! Ugh. There's uh, there's nothing to worry about, okay? No one ever comes out here. No, oh, he's a drug dealer, right? That's what we're doing right now. Yep, <laughs> he is. I'll do a half ounce for a 20. What do you say? It's plenty of bang for your buck. Should last you a while. <laughs> She's really jumpy. Do you ever feel like you're losing your mind? No, it's already lost. It's fine. I don't worry about it. Do you have anything... Stronger? Maybe... Ah, <sighs> good lord. Stronger? I'm sure he does. Because she wants to... She wants an escape. Let's talk after break. This just feels wrong. <laughs> Eleven here in school in California. I, I hope something bad happens to that girl. Nothing too bad. Just enough so that she gets what she deserves. Okay, it doesn't work. You've lost your powers. And that's fortunate. Maybe that's why we saw the intro thing that we did, you know? Because, like, if she's pushed, she's going to murder everyone. Maybe it wasn't the Demigorgon at the intro. Maybe it was all Eleven who did that. Help. Help. Something's got to happen though, right? Because she needs to get her powers back, right? <sighs> yeah, you want to be at a distance in case there's something dangerous inside. I see. Yeah, you have a strange new neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Pop is alive. 
The Russians did say that they, the American, they mentioned that. Does it bother you that like we might win a championship like right after you graduated? You know, yeah, yeah, that's an interesting point. Thank you so much for bringing that up, Brenda. <laughs> yeah, now that they don't have you on the team anymore, they might win. <laughs> oh, very tactical, Brenda. <laughs> I used to think that she sounded good because I had this massive crush. I'm sorry. Um, we, we took a, um, a massively hard... Uh, he didn't commit. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Lucas's uh, little sister, right? Babysitting club. I'm 11, you long-haired freak. My, my. The child speaks. I think you want to be careful with this, with this girl. <laughs> she has sass. A slow, agonizing death. So, you gonna do this? Or are we gonna keep chit-chatting like this is your mommy's book club? Yeah, how about that, dude? <laughs> oh, you got served, Eddie. Lord Ekna. Hail, Lord. I've heard that. I've heard that name, Vecna. Do you flee Vecna and his cultists? Or do you stand your ground and fight? Of course you gotta stand and fight. Sinclair, you're in. Huh? You're in. Gun the go. It's time to deliver. Uh, here's the parallel as well to the D&D game. Uh, and I'm hoping, kinda, that it's up to the, the Sinclair siblings in the end. And of course that they're both gonna win. There is no shame in running. Don't try to be heroes. Well, that's the entire point of Dungeons and Dragons. So it's your call. What do you say, Lady Applejack? You really gotta ask? Yeah, go Arden Paint. <laughs> that's how she rolls. Let me find a way! Chances of success are 20 to 1. Never tell me the odds. Just give me the ball. <laughs> Oh, this is so adorable. That's on me! But here comes the save. And Lady Applejack at the same time. They have to succeed now. After doing this, they can't fail, both of them. Come on. Ah, the tension. <laughs> Let's come on. There we go. And Lucas got to be the hero here as well. <sighs> Life changes, huh? Yeah, you have a new crew to hang out with now, Lucas. How are you doing, Max? Are you? I'm coming, I'm coming. Here you go. Oh, feeding the neighbor's dog because they don't take care of him. What's this now? Okay, alright. One more, that's it though, right? They're trying to amp up the scary vibes at the moment and i'm curious as to why how long does it take sorry the special k how long to kick in you sure you have it no no no, i got it um, somewhere i feel like she's gonna go missing but then who would really even care like i'm sure people would care but like the basketball team captain eh don't know and we're not really following him like she's not really connected to our gang Eddie did you find it Eddie Mom? Just oh no you, sweetheart. oh no it's it's Eddie <laughs> oh, she's having a bad time. Chrissy. No, she's... Hello? She's having a bit of an episode. Chrissy. 
Hello? Hey, Chris. Hmm. She has powers? <laughs> this is epic. Okay, I I'm really intrigued by this so far. Time to wake up. Okay, hello. I don't like this, Chrissy. Wait. <laughs> I don't think Chrissy likes it either. Maybe just ask the monster what the monster wants. That's very humanoid. It's time for your suffering. To end? To end. That can be interpreted multiple ways. <laughs> this is awesome! Oh no. We don't like that. Oh. Okay. So that was episode one of season four of Stranger Things. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But at the same time, I don't like how that ended. Because I thought Chrissy was going to be a bigger feature. But... Mm, but I mean, must... Because <sighs> Chrissy's thing must be a huge part of the story going forward, right? We can't just, like, be done with it now, can we? Because I'm... Ooh, I'm really... I'm, yeah, I'm really curious about what that was. Now Chris is gone, so we can't get answers from her. I'm happy to see uh, that... How do you say? Uh, weird stuff is still happening in Hawkins. <laughs> There's something about that place, man. There is so much here to appreciate. You know, like the... First of all, like the school setting. Um, and the presentation of these, like... The clicks... Uh, that we're so familiar with from from media. Again, it's like it's full on nostalgia, including all the bad things like the nerds being being looked down on, being the rejects, and so on, and like um, the conversation that Steve and Robin had in the car about how how Robin was scared about. Uh, well, basically asking that other girl girl in band out because, like, if she wasn't, if that other girl wasn't gay, then she would have a hard time because uh, because of homophobia, you know. Uh, so yeah, all the bad things, but like, yeah, it's it's very, it gives you a very com comfortable, comforting, nostalgic feeling, and then you add like an unsettling twist, which this show is very good at. I like the approach they're taking here, I think at least, because it feels like it's been a long time since the previous season. And what they're doing is basically restarting everything. Uh, and everything is like in a new setting. There's tons of new characters. And it's like a... It's like the show is beginning at, from the start again, but with some benefits of uh, like prior knowledge. Uh, some people are in different places, like Will and Elle, and Joyce for that matter, and Jonathan. They are out in California, even in Hawkins, with them being in high school now instead. It's a very different environment, so everyone watching feels a bit like lost, like this is, this is new to me, because it kind of is. Like, it's, yeah, it's a smart approach, I think. Because like everyone has to relearn this show at this point uh, i mean it is on streaming platform so it's easy to like rewatch. but it's a it's quite an it's quite an undertaking to rewatch it because the episodes were like an hour or something or 50 minutes or 55 or something like that and it was like 
eight to ten episodes per season, and that's three seasons. That's like uh, 25, 30 hours or something. And that's quite an undertaking uh, just to catch up. So I don't think... I think most people won't do that, and they'll go into this without having rewatched the old stuff. And most people, I think, would be like me, like, I kind of remember, but not really. Um, and um, that's why this is a very smart move to start in like new places with new locations, with new characters, and some stuff is familiar, but in general, like most of the old stuff is not that relevant anymore. The old storylines and so on. Like obviously, we get shown in this uh, in this episode that L doesn't have her powers. And I was unsure about that, but yeah, uh, she doesn't have her powers anymore. Like all of these things that we needed to get reinforced about relationships and everything, uh, they know they know that they need to bring that stuff up. They need to refresh our memories, and they do that very well, while at the same time introducing tons of new stuff. Like for instance, just to take a tiny example, like Max and Lucas, like uh, Lucas confronting her. And being like, you're being strange. Uh, it's like you're a ghost. And then she brings up, like, just because I broke up with you. Oh, right. They were a thing. And then apparently they broke up. And, like, I don't remember if that was a thing uh, in, in the old, uh, in the old season, in the previous seasons. But, like, no matter what, they make sure that we remem remember by outright saying it. I mean, you could say that it's a bit too much exposition because they both know that they were a couple and that they broke up uh, and so on so there's no reason for her to say that except it's for our benefit as as viewers uh, but it's not that heavy-handed it's not as if she's reading out facts from a list about like everything we need to know to get caught up to date it's fairly natural and reasonable exposition one thing i will say is that this was a much longer episode than I expected. Uh, maybe that's going to continue. That might put a hamper in my plans to get two episodes out a week, because I might be really strapped for time with that, but we'll, we'll see. I'll do my best. It's kind of crazy as well that all of this happened during one day, because that's how the episode started. It started with Mike... Uh, well, it started with uh, Elle's letter to Mike, where she was lying a whole bunch. But then it kind of went to Mike and his parents going on about how, like, there was D&D &D club tonight and he had to be home in time because there was only one day left until spring, uh, spring break. I'm really curious as to how this is going to spin into a mystery spin into something that we need to do something about or that we can do something about because whatever this was it seemed really focused in on Chrissy and Chrissy died and she obviously had lots of baggage but are we going to try to investigate that to find out what happened to her that might be it because I really want to know she obviously had some issues she had a controlling mother who I don't know, probably wanted to uh, relive her youth through her kid or something to that effect with complaining about how she was over, like, overweight. She wasn't overweight, of course, but, so, you know. What they have succeeded with is create an overwhelming desire in me to know more. <laughs> I want to go, go to the next episode right now, but I don't have time for that. I have to edit. Uh, and get this up. But yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this one properly. I want two things. I want two things mainly. Or three things, I guess. But two of them are connected. But one, one thing is uh, find out more about Chrissy and the monster that she saw and like what happened to her. That's one. Two, I want... L to get her powers back, uh, which is the connecting thing, because the, the second big thing or the third thing that I want, I want those bullies that are bullying L to suffer. 
not physically. Uh, I don't want them to die or anything. Well, I want them to suffer physically a little bit. At least some pain is good. Pain is educational. But mainly I want them to suffer socially. Horrendously. Because uh, if there's one thing I cannot stand, it's bullies. And I know that they're stupid kids. And that there's probably a reason why they are bullies. Because they have a crappy home life and, and so on. But that doesn't give you the excuse to take it out on someone else. So yeah. Some physical pain, but mainly I want them to suffer hugely uh, socially. <laughs> I guess we'll see if that happens or not. But that is unfortunately for a different day. For today, I am done and I thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, do take care of yourselves and peace out.